Jenny Zagrino, we, can we bring Jenny Zagrino back? Jenny, were you in that game? Did you get to see any of that? I saw it. I Look watched at that it. That face. <laughs> the horrible. The, this is a butterface right here. I like that. What are those called again? Because those dogs like shouldn't be alive. It's like against science and nature. And yeah, like, against science and oh, nature. Then who? No, it just like it hurts to be alive. Those are the best dogs. What yeah. do we got here? Lupe, the pug chihuahua. Ugh, Lupe, completely forgive you for kidnapping now. She uh, kidnapped it. I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit because it's the first one that we're doing. Oh, look, he's fine. Look at that. Oh, An man, actor. He's bald. He's fine. <laughs> this actor made a giant choice in the Honestly, Emmy Award. <laughs> Emmy Award. He went, he went bald. He said it. Dreamy. I like how he's not even allowed to sit on the couch because it's yeah. not set. <laughs> Gary, <laughs> He'll be in the corner. Gary, you guys, Gary Peterson is a very funny comedian. Gary. Very polite. Thank but you are any me. of us comedians? No, not anymore. Uh, we, so it's been a rough go at it. I've been having a real tough time. None of these shows look fun that are drive-in shows or the streaming shows. Oh, well, I'm about to do a drive-in show. Don't, don't say that they're not fun. It's the only thing that's keeping me going. I mean, they're fun for 10 minutes as, as long as you don't do material that you love and, okay. and like believe in. If it's just like about how weird it is in the venue, then you're going to have the best time. Great. So just play this, play the Kim Jong-un game. Jenny, have you gotten into any uh, maybe quarantine content shows that were not so fun? Uh, I did, I've done like Instagram live shows that are always weird, I don't like those. Where the host is over laughing just to keep the show moving? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> did you have yeah. someone to put down? Someone had a, a mental breakdown on one of those. That was probably the highlight of all the ones I've seen. Yeah, they're all a mental breakdown. Something's not right when you're able to see yourself too, because people are also like doubting everything about their facial features. There's no audience. It just really pulls the curtain back. So that leads me to our next game, which is canceled forever or second season. I'll give you a topic, but stand up and tell me if it's canceled forever or it's getting the second season. So the first one is stand up. Do you think it's canceled forever? No, no, no. no. And I will say 90% of these Zoom shows are awful. Uh, I, I'll say Jenny and Moses and I have killed this one. And I have also seen Yay. other comics. I, people are figuring it out. I think people are adapting. Yeah. It's just, I'm not. And Moses, you're not. I don't know how you feel, Jenny. But. No, I think the less people just do actual stand-up and adjust to the medium that is like what essentially a YouTuber would do. Yeah. Which is great because comics spent years talking shit about YouTubers. And look at us now. Look at us now. Everyone's like, you know, doing front face. I wish I learned how to edit. Yeah. So I think well, it's, like, it's also the TikTok people. They like but, we're all on TikTok right. now. And they're like, we've been here. Yeah. You you, are you getting cyberbullied by tweens, Jenny? Kind of. Yeah, because you're on it, but then I hear like, comment on videos and be like, "You're fucking stupid. I hate you." And then I go to their page and they're nine. Yeah, when someone lip syncs hate speech, it kind of hurts. <laughs> <laughs> but it's so spot on, and the choreography is so great. Uh, cruise ships. No, I think cancel I forever. I love a cruise. No, I think cruise ships will survive because old people still think it's a hoax and they will force us to come on the cruise ships. I think, the when, when the world order, I think they're canceled. Wait. They're canceled and then they will get a triumphant reboot a la Jurassic Park. You know, I think okay. like they'll go away, but we'll the find ships a way. The ships will attack people? Yeah, we'll find, <laughs> nature finds a way. Yo, you're a huge cruise hack. You've been on more cruises than any person I know that's really? under 78. It's true. Fun cruises. Yes, I go What's, on fun cruises. Yes, how soon before you think you would feel comfortable going on a cruise? We I mean, honestly, I'm so low right now. If someone told me to go on a cruise tomorrow, I would do it. Like, <laughs> as, long as, I knew, as long as I knew it would get blown up before it reached harbor. Just one last, <laughs> like a Viking funeral. That's how I want to go out. Send me out on a cruise ship and shoot an arrow into it. It's, Joel Kim is canceled forever. <laughs> Trying to get a cruise going. Trying to get a comedy cruise going. Is there anything worse? That will probably be like the best form of entertainment. Is right? Just watch what yeah. cruise explode. Uh, speaking of cruise ships, uh, buffets. Buffets in general. Cancel forever, second season. You can't keep me away from buffet. Man, I don't know. I think... 
second season, but you can't touch anything. Someone else has to get all the food on you, and then you'll feel a lot of shame mm -hmm. as they do it. Yeah, so you're thinking of a food pile, sort of a... Sort of like a cafeteria food. style. Yeah, you gotta basically... <laughs> the shame of you piling on all this trash on your plate, yeah. and they have to do it for you. I feel like... The, but people will travel to Florida to get that buffet because you know that's where they will exist and continue to thrive absolutely Florida's gonna be like uh it's gonna be like our uh Sodom and Gomorrah area just like that's where all that's just that's where anything goes area yeah it is weird because all these uh high risk alerts are coming out around buffets and they're just showing like infrared cameras of how much stuff gets sprayed that it's a miracle at this point that we ever even had buffets. Like, <laughs> last pandemic, just the amount of filth that falls off of people's faces. To, just for the rare experience that you can have lasagna and, and king crab on the same plate. Next to each other, on the same plate? Yeah. Same. Ever been to a buffet? It's too classy. I love buffet it. Buffet's also about just mixing the worst shit you've ever seen in your life. It's like a death row. Last it's like when you it's like when you were little and you have like they called it a suicide where you where you go to the fountain drink and you mix all the fountain drinks together. It's that with food. Yeah. 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 Uh and and this is this is about to turn into a mukbang, this show. That's that's how we hey, well, you're from the Midwest, yeah. right? I fucking you love a buffet. Babe, don't you fucking I didn't say that about myself. Moses slandered me and said I was too fancy <laughs> for a buffet. I, yes. No, buffets are great. I think they'll be around because it's the best way to break it to your kids that you're getting a divorce. <laughs> <laughs> Last one, and this is fun because it's dirty. Gang bangs. Never been invited. Sounds fun. Yeah, no, those aren't getting canceled. No. Yeah, no. I, I don't think so. I think like, and let's be clear here. We're just specifically talking about gang bangs, not orgies. Because remember, every gangbang is an orgy, but not every orgy is a gangbang. Oh, please enlighten us. It's like a square rectangle. Every rectangle is a square, but not every, or every square is a rectangle, but not every rectangle is a square yeah. sort of situation. Because a gangbang- like you learned geometry? Yeah. That's- <laughs> Homeschool. <laughs> I think bring back orgies, man. Bring them back. Bring them back. You get herd immunity, right? Mm-hmm. Get that herd Do it I've outside. Been Let everyone see. Get vitamin D. If you watch those videos now, it's it's almost like you're watching them nostalgically when people could be that close. <laughs> yeah, that's like what you're getting off on is just like general human connection. Oh, yeah. Remember hugs. Oh, he looks like he cares. I feel, I feel like as long as everyone's wearing PPE, a gangbang could be okay. And isn't that a hot image? Isn't that, ugh. Someone in a full mask. Face shield. Yeah. You put like a little hole in the mask. That's gonna be the next. I don't think that's the way wear the mask. One hole that's necessary in a gangbang. Yeah, but I'm okay. saying is okay, I saw these uh these ones I really liked that were jeans and it zipped. Then just to just the girl can wear that and then or guy or person, Thank you. whatever. You Thank you. That mask sounds off. Yeah, unzip it, it goes in. Yeah. One time. I like sticking my penis through a zipper. It's always so calming. <laughs> it's great to have metal teeth right there. Uh, I prefer to keep it near the zipper too. That's how I do it. Thank you guys so much for being here. Jenny Zagrino, uh, we can see you where? Where can we see you? Are you touring again? In, no. no. <laughs> you're, on, you're on Instagram uh, at Jenny Zagrino. And you're on TikTok. Jenny Zagrino, that's it. Follow her on TikTok, uh, Twitter as well. Yeah. Also, Jenny Zagrino, we'll put that in the notes. Uh, Joel Kim Booster, new season of Search Party on HBO Max. Shrill on Hulu. Sunny Side on Hulu. Sunny Side on Hulu. Cancel before it's time. And then, Joel, you were also working with uh, an organization. You were making hygiene bags for people that are unhoused or homeless people. Yeah, that was with, um, it was uh, originally started uh, by Resistorhood LA, which is an organization here in LA, and SELA. And now, um, uh, I'm I'm only a volunteer, but Mitra Johari, who's another comedian here who's based in LA, has sort of taken up the cause. And if you look up um, Mitra Johari, J-O-U-H-A-R-I, on Instagram, she's always posting uh, opportunities. If you live in LA and you want to create a hygiene kit for uh, unhoused people here, or if you want to learn how to do that in your own city, um, look her up and follow her. And that's what you can do if you're feeling restless and want to do some good. 
Yeah, absolutely. Because we have a lot of time on our hands. It's a good time to help people out. Because uh, like one of my friends said on the phone earlier, uh, this is all terrible. This is awful. And that's completely fine to feel that way. But just know that you are not alone. 